we are back from our trip and it was wonderful it was very lovely uh, so I thought for the rest of today's video I thought I would share with you guys where we stayed my thoughts on the island my recommendations if you're gonna be traveling there and also what little treasures we found and brought home with us so let's start with the fun bit what we brought back from Crete so we were staying on the island of Crete and it's the biggest Greek island and we kind of knew that going into it, but we didn't realize exactly how big it was. More on that later. Anyways, there are some things that are kind of well known for the island. One thing being honey. So we got some Cretan, Cretan honey and we were on a drive and we found a sign that says 900 year old olive tree. So we just pulled over just to look at it. And then across from this tree, there was a little shop with this one man selling all of his products. So we bought some honey from him and we also bought a jug of olive oil for ourselves. This is the man, he was really, really nice and made us taste everything. So we got this and this from him. Some nice olive oil and honey. Oh wait, I forgot. We also got another thing from him. We got, um like a handmade orzo pasta. I think it's like a vegetable, they're different colors. I should get that. Yeah, so we just got more Greek pasta. <laughs> um, a lot of food related things. And actually one of the first things that we bought are some ceramics. There was a little ceramic store that was pretty close to the resort that we were staying at. And it was so cute. They had really nice things and there was just an old man on the pottery wheel, like at the front of the store, um, like right by the street. And he's just making all these things. And then there's all these cats inside and he would make the kittens like little water bowls. And there was this really big bowl inside and the one cat was just sleeping in it and it was so cute. They were also very lovely. Um, and we got some glasses from them some ceramic glasses which i've never had before but really cute uh a dark blue one and black a lighter blue one this funky green one and then a uh, blue and white i thought these would just be really cute to have mismatched very colorful for like little dinner parties and stuff <laughs> And then the last thing that we bought for ourselves is this little painting. So this is not Crete, this is actually Santorini. But we went into the shop in Chania, I think the name is, I'll put it on the screen. It's the older city, I believe, on Crete. And there was this one shop and there were just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of paintings, like all original paintings from artists from Greece. And I just really love the colors in this one. So I got this one, very cute. Uh, I think these colors are my new interior design inspiration. I want to transform my flat to make it very colorful in the next year or so. And I just love this picture. I was quite 
indecisive about which one to get but then actually the the man working in the store that day he was also an artist and he told me to get this one so those are all the things that we got for ourselves of course we did get a lot of things for other people but secret secret not gonna share what those are next up i thought i would share with you guys where we actually stayed on the island so we stayed at a resort on the middle south end of the island it was called calypso and it was a very interesting place <laughs> we didn't realize how far out of the way it was it was quite a drive to get there but because it was kind of isolated, it was very beautiful. So there were all these cliffs, there was no reception at all, like around the entire resort, just because it was surrounded with all these cliffs, the water was so blue, and it was just, it was really, really nice. One of the reasons that we did stay there actually was because it was one of the cheaper resorts. Um, and I think that's just because it is a little bit out of the way and also it was a little bit dated i think if they updated the resort it would be amazing and i would probably i would consider going there again if they updated it because just the surrounding where it was was so cool and not too far from the resort is a city or town i think it's called Plakias. And then on the other side of the resort, there was one really nice beach that we went to once. But other than that, it was very, very far away from anything else on the island. So if you guys have heard, there's that one famous pink beach on Crete and we wanted to go and check it out. It was a three hour drive and it was also on the south end of the island. If we could have just driven there directly, it probably would have taken us like 45 minutes but there's only one main road on the island and it's only on the north end so every time we would go anywhere we would have to drive all the way to the north end of the island and then drive across this one main road to get wherever we would want and lots of the things that we would go to they weren't too far from a resort but it would just take so long to drive there and I think because of that if we would go back to Crete, we would probably stay on the north side of the island because it would just save us a few hours of driving to go and visit some of these cool places that we were interested in. Our favorite city there was called Chania. I think that's how you say it. Again, I'll put the name on the screen. It was such a beautiful old city and full of restaurants and little shops. That's where we got the painting and we found so much cute stuff there. So personally, I would probably stay closer to that city if we were going again. Next, I'll tell you guys some of the really fun things that we did that I would recommend you to do if you are going there. Number one, the biggest recommendation that I have is to go sailing. So as you saw before in this video, we went on a sailing trip and I think it was definitely worth it. It was about 80 euros a person, which is a bit, but it was a six hour sailing tour. They had snorkeling, they had stand up paddle boards. They took us to this other island and then we could just swim around, have fun, go snorkeling. And then they also made us a really big meal and it was so, so nice. I think that's the highlight from the trip for me, um, just because it was, it was so much fun and something that I haven't done before. So I would definitely recommend doing that if you have the funds. My other recommendation, if you're gonna go there, is to try some seafood. So we actually got like this huge seafood platter to share when we were in Chania, and it was all these different types of things. There was squid and octopus and sardines and swordfish on it. And it was actually really, really good. Like it kind of surprised all of us for how much we actually liked it. And I think just because you're on an island in Greece, it's the freshest that it's ever gonna be. And you know, in Germany, we're quite landlocked. We can never really get fresh uh, seafood like that. So it was, it was really fun to try that. The other thing that we did that I would recommend, but you would need a bit more planning than what we had, is this one hike into a gorge. 
I can't remember the name of it, I'll put it on the screen, but it was really, really cool. It's such good scenery. It, like, I thought that we were in the Rockies in Canada. It was crazy. So we just kind of drove there, not really knowing what to expect. And it wasn't really what we expected because we drove up all this altitude to the top of the mountain. And then we had to hike down, I don't even know how many thousands of feet, um, into the bottom of the gorge. And then apparently you can just continue hiking the entire thing through if you plan it that way and then you can get a bus that comes back to the top or something like that that's what other people were saying we didn't have that much planning so we hiked probably like a third of the way down like we got all the way to the bottom and then we hiked a little bit to this old chapel and then we realized that we didn't have enough time or the resources to continue the rest of the way so then we ended up having to turn around and hike all the way back up this insane slope i think there were more switchbacks on this hike than i had ever done on any hike in canada it was crazy but i still think it was worth it it was so beautiful there the scenery was crazy so those are the main things that i would recommend if you're going to be traveling to crete anytime there are some things that personally i wouldn't choose to do again like a lot of the touristy things especially like the pink beach um it was okay but it was so crowded we went on a day where it was overcast and there weren't too many people out there but even for an overcast day it was still a lot of people and i can only imagine what it's like there in in the summer on a sunny day i bet you probably can't even find a piece of sand to lay on um so things like that so the really overcrowded touristy spaces i try to avoid usually um but that's of course up to you to decide so now we're back home and going back to school going back to work um i'm actually starting my practicum this next week so i'll definitely have to make a video about that for you guys if you're interested and yeah if you like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to my channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!